Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! And Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the Cortex Scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! No? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Tell me we's having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Find the Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the furon DNA. Be merciless! Let none survive!
Evening, Ms. Turnipseed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What oh, is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, the furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! Shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Superb! No <laughs> Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path! Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age! As good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy. to the north in the bushes. Replenish your saucer shields by draining any human vehicle. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on.
Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those humans... Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not ex... Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex Scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va-boom! What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. We wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Um, Wayne! Finally, that was good. Let my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to, to powers. all the little people. But there's no time. Gotta go! anyway. Ugly looking thing. 
Show yourself. Call me when you're ready to spend some serious money. Politics ain't beanbag. Wonder what's for dinner. Which way is the exit? Again. I want a salad. Is that Enjoy so the fair! Oh, and don't ride the mangler! It's a freaking death trap! Direct. Direct animals there. Must uh, keep going. Feet killing me. Damn. Heels. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger, and rounder, and saucer-shaped. Whoa, this is just like my dream. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Libra. Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie-eating contest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's happening? Oh, God! Please! No! Oh! Oh, it, it tickles! <laughs> it's probing time! Oh, yeah! Right there! That's the spot! Oh, that is delicious! Never fails! Crypto, the authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. A minute is big! How about you? Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? Mm.
do. Those nearby bovoids appear to have been genetically manipulated by the humans. But for what purpose? I want you to investigate this bizarre mutated species. these pathetic gas bags and turn them into radioactive exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! Alpha male? Where did he come from? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Go to this town hall and take the alpha male's place to address the pea brained masses! Whoa! Very funny, Kaminsky. I only want to talk. I heard old Jeb just struck gold. Yeah, Texas tea. Police! You... A restricted area. How droll. Crypto! The charming security at this town hall Is won't let you in without a jacket. Do. Use uh, Hollow Bomb to keep standards up, in. will you? Wonder if I ought to go hit somebody with my nightstick. Could be fun. Nightstick, check. 
Taking bribes from local gangster, check. Sense of moral superiority over fellow citizens, check. Time to arrest me some peeps. I am no! The gathering is already in progress. But before we deal with these pitchfork colors, we need to find the alpha man. Oh, yeah. I, I want to be a cowgirl, but who would be my cowboy? Man, that talking horse on TV's a hoot. Wonder how they get him to talk. Magic oats or something. Go ahead, make my day. It's him! Where the, is the police mayor! Now use Hypnoblast to distract the lackeys surrounding him. I want to ride a motorcycle. How come I never get to ride a motorcycle? Motorcycle cops have all the fun. What would Elliot Ness do? Never carry a knife to a gunfight? No, that's not it. What was it again? Time to take the stage! Break a leg, Mayor Crypto! Assure them that everything is normal. No monkey business. That is, only monkey business as usual. The success of our mission depends... Every one of the dang cows, then it looked like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing's... Crap, crap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her... Crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar... There goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now I'm entitled to a god darn answer. If they ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, whippersnapper? That? Well, that's just the uh, healthy inner glow that comes from chewing a, a cud of fresh green Rockwell grass. Why, I uh, chew it myself all the time. Got some in my craw right now. Better than snuff. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. I kid the flying saucer freaks, but seriously, they have a lot of local color to the community, don't they? I mean, without them, we'd have nobody to ostracize but the inbreeders. Bada bing! Is this thing on? You've been a great audience. Don't forget to tip the veal and try the waitresses. And if you like what you heard, throw me a bone and vote for me next election day. Early and often. Wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Now hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this? Because we are real Americans and they're not. Next.
So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto! Did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Crypto, Sunny Santa Modesta. First up, I want you to find the alpha male of this town. Perhaps we can gain an insight into the way this whacked human social hierarchy functions. Crypto, the first thing you should do is take a human disguise. In this mission, it's vital you remain completely incognito. If your true form is seen by anyone, the mission will fail. Scan any humans you find. They might be able to tell you where the Alpha Man is located. That rotten mayor. We gave $500 to that campaign and still no one... What a great guy. He must really love pool parties. Maybe I'll get lucky at the pool party. Meet some sexy single ladies, get a little action. Good thing I wore my date night jockeys. Some people call me Joe Sixpack. I don't know why. I never work out. There seems to be a human social ritual in progress. Perhaps you can discover what's going on. Worker, I could form that singing group down at the village. What would be? What a great guy! He must really love pool parties. That mayor sure is one heck of a public speaker. Shame about his short-term memory. Just keeps saying the same stuff over and over again. That mayor is one tough cookie. I better talk to Silhouette. We may have to go over his head. Things are moving too fast. For all I know, these little green deviants could already be walking among us. Just because a couple of slack-jawed yokels have been drinking too much Rockwell moonshine, I'm supposed to hand over my civic authority? I paid good money for this office. This is my town. Those feds better steer clear. This mayor is pathetic. So is this pool party. It's time to trash the place! Pussy, pussy, oh. pussy. Do you know who I am? You want to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit 
prayer scum. Hey, I'm afraid of Virginia Woolf. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, you seem to have awakened the local constabulary. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your disintegrator ray. Try it out on the fuzz. Crypto. Space invaders! Space creatures! Just might spare your A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? They don't look so tough. Looks can deceive. These urban humans are savvier, grittier, stringier, harder to fool. Keep your eyes sharp and your wits sharper. Not in the open. Duck in here. Hold the frequency. Hit me. We're go for phase one. Our guys inside the station? Just waiting for the word. And the tape? In the briefcase, all queued up. Subliminal TV messages, what'll Majestic think of next? Search me. You know what a rhetorical question is? Not a clue. <sighs> Come on. Those black suits again. What's a Majestic? I'm not certain, but it gives me an idea, Crypto. Wait, let me grab something to write with. If our plan is to succeed, simply reading human minds will be insufficient. We must control them. To ease the harvesting of their brain stems, grease the wheels, so to speak. Sounds like a gas. How do we do it? 
I believe your ebon garbed friends have provided us direction. Keep up with the black sedan! You're being outrun by a vehicle that can't even fly! Martha, come quick! Martians! There's a careless hamster eating the turnips! Invaders! Ah! <laughs> the men in black are getting away! Space creatures! Commies! Holy smokes! Aliens! Forget the black sedan! Stop those men in black from escaping! Head for the TV station and cut them off there! Scanning the documents now. Crypto, this looks diabolical! The briefcase contains a reel of magnetic tape and orders to commence an experiment in human mind control. Apparently, a human scientist is waiting at the TV station for these orders. He's an expert on the human brain. His name is... Sleepy Ernst. I want you to go to the TV station and scan Sleepy Ernst. Silent. Sure. You think you can take it? Come around with me. The human mind can be controlled by televised propaganda, and then I'll start my own cable news network. Ha ha! There's a heck of those majestic agents. America ain't gonna brainwash itself. We cannot allow the human race to be sleepy Ernstus's experimental guinea pigs. They should be our guinea pigs. Destroy sleepy Ernst. We better make sure his work is destroyed. Majestic intended to broadcast mind control signals to control their own people! By transmitting signals from this station, they hope to make the human population paranoid and aggressive. Well, more paranoid and aggressive. Alright, Crypto, here's the plan. We're going to use this television thingy ourselves to subjugate humanity to the indomitable will of the Furon Empire! <laughs> if you can bend the antennae in the direction of the mothership, they'll be in the perfect position to receive my Furon mind control transmissions. That's the good news. The bad news is, for complex and highly technical reasons, you have only a few minutes. If you can not the end, let's not speak of it again. Now, get out there and bend some rabbit ears. Can't I watch the news in peace? That Fidel was kind of making sense, but uh, no. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Can I love Lucy when she's off the air? Don't give up, Crypto. I hate to have to tell the fear on them. Darn rabbit ears. How he will I know so the exact value unsympathy. of an all expenses paid Cuban vacation is lower or higher than 9349? Crypto. 
Though I'm in awe of your sheer cerebral virility, you silver stud, you. I watch the news in peace. I hardly ever get to use my masters in economics. Here we go. Beginning transmission. Furon signal downlink successful. Oh, this is smashing. All right, I'm increasing the power. Wait! Crypto! The signal is too strong! Humans are weak! Their minds can't take that kind of amplitude! Quickly, Crypto! You've got to bend the antennae before they... Ooh, that has to hurt. Ew. Disgusting. Crypto? Crypto! Where did you go? Snack time. I want you to collect any brain stems that may have survived the signal broadcast. While you're collecting the overloaded brain stems, take a moment and extract some fresh brain stems from living humans, would you? Crypto! I'm granting you a license for a new weapon. The Anal Probe. Now portable for more efficient brain stem collection. With the multifunctional control, attract and collect any extracted bits that floating about from a safe distance. But remember, no unlicensed uses. Read the warning paper. Good work, Crypto. You just collected an overloaded brain stem. Only 11 more to go. Well, I know it sounds like a lot, but I think it's quite an achievable goal. Excellent. I believe that's all the fresh brain stems I'll be needing at the moment. Nice haul. Oh, man!
What the? I don't know what that fine weed growing out in the cabbage patch is, but it sure looks like it'd go great in my pipe. You know, it's been out there ever since my nephew Tommy came to stay. You know, there sure is a lot of color in this town. They want to destroy Martians! Communists! And Electromagnetic pulse that disables your weapons. Say your prayers. Crypto, you're going to investigate the activities of the human scientists. I want to establish the connection with the Majestic.
That special seasoning has succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. These people are now rabid paranoiacs and incredibly hostile to anyone who's different. And as an unexpected side benefit, 78% of them are now registering Republican. Crypto, there's a frozen treats vehicle on its way here. But my analysis shows it's carrying warm-blooded humans. No, no, don't shoot. This is highly suspicious. Wait and scan whomever comes out first. I know I'm not supposed to eat from the diner, or I'll turn into a mindless paranoid drone, but that rhubarb pie is calling my name. Heinrich! Liebchen! Heinrich! Ever since I was a small boy in Stuttgart, I dreamed of drugging the food supply of an entire population. Now? It's my job. <laughs> God, I love America. More non-threatening vehicles full of scientists instead of ice cream? Scan the scientists once they step foot outside. Don't they live in their labs? The psychotropic compounds in that shison turned our lab rats into a pack of paranoid junkies. Clearly, the scientists are responsible for carrying out Majestic's population control schemes. Normally, I'd ask you to destroy the scientists, but we have a bigger problem. Majestic are using the food outlets to distribute their population control drugs. And it seems to be working. If every human in this country turns paranoid and hostile, it will make life for us very difficult. They just took the diner, too. We gotta set up a line and hold them here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not sitting around here waiting to get abducted. Keep your panties on, Mary. I just got a word over the radio. There's an army convoy right outside this town. With tanks. Thank God! Thank Majestic. Silhouette got the army to do something right for once. Take some cars and go get them. Try and stop me. If the scientists escape with the formula, our whole operation is at risk. Destroy those vehicles before they leave the peninsula. Use your Repulsotron, Crypto! Destroy those incoming missiles! heretofore suspected. I say it's high time we abducted one of these men in... 
really, really dark brown and give him a good probing. What do you say? Up for a little fun? You haven't got the guts. I think you're going to have to land your saucer and capture the agent on foot. How does he book like that in those shoes? Now, if I could just find a cowboy, an Indian, and a construction worker, I could form that singing group down at the village. What would we call ourselves? The city people, the village folks, or something? Party's over, space rat. This is the end of the road. Okay. Clear the line of fire. I took out your Sends his regards. Hey, last call, space rat. You don't have to go. Oh, you can't stay here. Uh -oh. Put me down, space rat. Go to hell, Klaatu. You think I'm scared of a three-foot space hamster? I think you should be. <gasps> now, we can do this easy, or we can do it hard. Your choice. What do you know about a down Furon scout ship? A what? Sorry, let me put it in baby talk. A flying saucer crashed somewhere or uh, captured. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. What do you know about Majestic? I know we're gonna kick your little green ass all the way back to Mars. I'm not! These weapons, where are you making them? How many agents does Majestic have? How many other towns are you in? Son of a... Don't get mad. Get sadistic. I think this calls for the Jumbo Probe. Monkey boy, you want it to stop, don't you? Then give daddy what he needs. Mind control experiment. Rockwell movies. Fear on DNA. Area 42. Uh. Prepare to return to the mothership, Crypto. We're going back to Rockwell for the last time. In a second. Hold still, monkey boy. Let me choose.
So what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Sick and tired of this two-bit town. Nothing ever happens. No dancing, no rock and roll. Why, if it weren't for that juke joint down by the river, I'd never get my rocks off. You said a mouthful, Cupcake. There's a whole wide world out there, and we're missing it. But where can we go, Billy? This town's a one-way ticket for wild hearts like you and me. It's tearing me apart! What you need is a new direction. Exactly. A real purpose in life. Freaking A! Ever thought about homeland protection? Home what? Wise up, Romeo. There's a half a billion Reds who'd love nothing better than to rip that varsity sweater right off your back. No kidding. Take this little pamphlet. It'll tell you everything you need to know about protecting your little corner of the country from communist invasion. Thanks a million, Daddy-O. Freaking A. Wow. There goes a real American. A real American dreamboat? Meow. That's the last of them. Must have papered every JD in this stinking burg. And our little film strip? Spooled up and ready to go. The pimply projectionist is none the wiser. <laughs> Won't those kids be surprised when Abbott and Costello turn into Jimmy and Johnny Commie Killer in Real Six? Good work, Agent, and not a moment too soon. We need to be in Santa Modesta yesterday. Don't break for yellow. Read me. Loud and clear. Sounded like Secret Agent Man was taking orders from the one in goggles. Want me to blow him up? Thank you, Crypto, but I have a better idea. See the plaza over there by the big screen? The humans drive their carbon combustion transports in, and thence view projected images for the purpose of entertainment! Makes perfect sense. I suggest we beat Majestic at their own devious little game. film that I'm sure the audience will love. Be a good boy and pick it up. I'm on it. Enjoy the following educational presentation from the Furon Empire. Watch it, pal. Stay here. 
one minute remaining. Keep calm. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm letting you off the leash, Crypto. The time has come to escalate this little war against the Majestic. You will definitely be needing a more powerful weapon. What? Be very careful with this weapon, Crypto. It can hurt you as well if you get too close. A minute is big! Kamis! It
dispatch the boot camp. <laughs> in their stinkers for a while.
you want a saucer upgrade or something a little more personal? Mm. We seem to have put a dent into Majestic's mind control efforts, but they won't stay down for long. However, if we can harness the massive power of television... We could brainwash the whole country. We can easily transmit our signal on normal television frequencies. All we require is a suitable guise, a persona the humans will trust. My research indicates one possibility. A human television presenter called Bert Wither. But he's made himself scarce. Perhaps he got wind of what you did to Sleepy Ernst. Forgive my impertinence, but you are an alien, are you not? How'd you guess? I knew it! I knew it! My prayers have been answered! On behalf of all the nations of the Earth, I welcome you to our planet, oh friend from another world. Gee, thanks. Means a lot. Enough chit-chat! We need to find Bert Wither. Where is he, pathetic crackpot human? You want Bert Wither? You got him. Follow me. Perfect. Please, come with me. Follow that crackpot. Never mind that he's crazy. He's our only lead. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. Cards, my bottle cap collection, my notes. You better stay low. They have gun turrets around the perimeter, too. A whole ton of them on the water side. Watch out for the EMP mines. They've got a bunch of those around the perimeter, too. The perimeter's pretty rough, actually. You can take a human form, can't you? You can get over there in disguise. Only one disguise will do, though. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion would never work, but it would, and I know it. If only I'd gotten the funny, but I didn't, thanks to Burt Wither. Bastard. Scan me, scan me, scan me! I hear Hoffa's buried under these docks somewheres. Oh, wait, he's not dead yet. Uh, I don't know nothing about that. They've got electric force fields around the perimeter. You can turn them off, though. Just shoot the machine. The cook at this diner takes food to Burt Wither. He's the only one who gets past the force field and the guards. Remind if that crackpot that scientist is correct, Burt Wither is under heavy guard. And only this cook is allowed near him. You should use this cook to reach Burt Wither. in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. What more could a man want? Crypto, be very careful. This area appears to be heavily fortified. That Bert Wither guy's got to be around here somewhere. My DI sure is a mean son of a gun. Armquist is my hero.
This ain't like WW2. Uncertainty principle? Give me a break. Grow some balls, Heisenberg. Where is the Salisbury steak for Mr. Wither? He's starving. Now is it that hard to find him up the stairs on the second floor of the docks? I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything you say. I swear. You bet your ass you will. Come on, birdie boy. I got a little job for you.
right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us. The success of the broadcast depends on you, Crypto. You must protect those towering transmission towers! Each tower has a transmitter at its base. If the army want to stop the broadcast, they'll have to take out those transmitters first. Regiments two and four, form up the main junction. One and three, take the flank. Attack waves, target the infrastructure. I want those comm towers out of commission. Support waves, your task is simple. Destroy the communist insurgents holding the television station. No beet-eating, vodka-swilling, Trotskyite son of a bitch is gonna hijack this great nation's God-given airways. Not on my watch. Charge! <laughs> Incoming from the north! SMCBS will bring you further news as it unfolds. Good day, John and Jane America, from north to south, from sea to shining sea. This is Kurt Weather, coming from the SMCBS studio at an undisclosed location in America's sunshine capital, Santa Manista, with a special news bulletin. For years, America has been a beacon of hope to the world. But today comes disturbing proof. Our very way of life is under attack. Our great nation devoured from within by a malignant tumor of corruption. Yes, you heard it here first. The very heart of power in the United States of America. Tanks! Roll in the tanks! 
Show them some American steel! Those towers now! All units, attack! 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 We have only a few moments until the army destroys our building. They're deploying tanks and good lord, giant robots! We cannot have a attack! One of these moments, I want to share a new hope. SMCBS! Correspondents have uncovered something incredible. For the first time in history, proof that an alien race has visited Earth and apparently repeated attempts to communicate their message befriend all humans. Tragically, these gentle, intelligent creatures are being systematically exterminated by government agencies. Are these interstellar ambassadors our last hope for a peaceful human future? Could they help us take back America? May Providence smile upon us all. This is Bert Mather saying goodbye. Oh, 
What would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? We should be able to discover what happened to Crypto 136. My scans have identified several radioactive areas in your vicinity, but there is one in particular that looks like it could be a crash site. I'm on it. Any of those baboons laid one hairy finger on me, I'll rip them a new asshole. If this snapper were any more foobar. What have you discovered? This is where 136 hit the dirt all right. You found his ship? A few little pieces, most of it's gone. Recover any Furon technology the humans may have found. And rescue Crypto 136. Monkeys probably hitched the ship to their donkeys and dragged it back to their mud village so they can worship it as a god. I just all I can be. My pappy fought in the big one. My DI sure is a mean son of a gun. play dice with the universe. He does, however, hit the blackjack tables. All of this, khaki, that... What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? I remember this one time at Pennemund. Dr. Fritzenberger put molasses in the V2 engine? Ach, what a mess! These Americans are no fun. Why won't those commies invade already? I want to shoot me some reds! I have to report to Hoover again. Please, God, let him be wearing pants this time.
I like Huffman, but I'll kill him in a second if I get the order. An army of one. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Uncertainty principle? Where could these humans have imprisoned Crypto 136? Find out if one of these military monkeys knows more. Oppenheimer wearing the same bow tie as me, stupid Americans. Hmm, I wonder how much he paid for it. I'm so sick of guarding that stupid, shiny, round hunk of commie metal for those guys in the suits. Melt it down and turn it into cold, hard American ammo. I hope Lorraine don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish. I'd have a GI party with a toothbrush if I told the general to shut up and keep walking past the house. Good. Mmm, so good. Flying discs are as real as the one crashed on this base. Just it really is covering it all up. But you know, this don't ask, don't tell thing is really working for me. This majestic stronghold must be where they are holding Crypto 136. Chili's gonna be repeating on me all night long. Those little Huron freaks can run, but they can't hide from us. I have to put them alive before Silhouette puts me. That Klaatu freak in our lab better get us the results we need. More paperwork, more FPS reports. That little freak in the lab creates more problems than all the other uh, collateral damage. Gotta get up to Jersey and see Uncle Tony this weekend. What am I thinking? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you.
I really thought you'd be alive. Ah, Crypto. Look what they've done to us. Laid us open like an animal. How could intelligent creatures do this? Okay, monkeys. You want a war? You've got a war. What? What did you find, Crypto? We're dead. An honorable death at the hands of an enemy in battle, that's one thing, Pox, but they... They desecrated us. And they're gonna pay. Oh, yes, they're gonna pay. to end up like your predecessor. Return to the mothership. We'll use that data tape to... Are you kidding me? If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna make them pay. Pay? Hey? Oh, we'll make it pay. Wait just a little longer and we'll see just how destructive we can be. Bring me that data data tape at once. That's an order! I want my <laughs> The data tape you retrieved from the Human Research Lab has revealed a most disturbing development. They successfully unlocked the dormant psychic ability hidden deep in their primitive brains due to a dash of furon DNA. Infiltrate the research base and disable its defenses from within. Then you will destroy the entire area with your saucer. What would Brando do? Stella! Stella! I knew I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. Armquist is my hero. I know what you're thinking, ladies. And yes, I'm available. No, no, that can't be right. Kaiser Alpha, drops the Seta, square root of the Omega... Ah, damn! I never should have dropped those particle physics seminars. I hope Lorraine don't find out what about... What have you found? The they got mutants, Boy, all right. What a dish she was. I could call them... Quarks. Nah, it's not commercial enough. Liptons? Hmm, nope, nope. Messons? No, that sounds like a stupid alien race in some sort of child's game. Gluons? No, that's just plain silly. I'd give my moral compass for one second with a fresh alien corpse, if I had one. Akto!
Man, I am good. How good? Mmm, so good. Humans using Furon powers. They're training these mutant humans for use in the battle against us. Destroy everything at their lab. Don't run into those waves of energy. Find a way over them. Destroy the lab and kill those mutants! Nice shooting, Crypto! Primitive Tesla coils. They'll zap you with energy when you're near. Tesla. Edgy name. Good work, Crypto. Help! Hey, hey.
Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more personal? Mm. to cripple their military forces. I want you to infiltrate the main base and find out what the warlords are planning. Don't worry, Pox. I wiped out all the smart monkeys in the last attack. All they got left are a couple of hairy-knuckled alpha males who don't know thing one about intergalactic warfare. I mean, come on. Any planet well, without a war with the ion already. cannons is just asking rats. for it. Human warfare is astonishingly primitive, which is exactly what worries me. They're just advanced enough to blow themselves up at any moment, and if they do, our chance of reclaiming our genetic future goes up in a mushroom cloud. That would suck. Okay, I'll go scout the base and scan a few monkey brains. Mark, Try not to Mark, let them detect you this time. We don't need any more complications. And you know how jumpy these creatures can be. Hey, it's me! Good point. Try not to kill all of them. I love my country. I love my flag. The new X-13 fighter jet! Packs a real punch, fires missiles, has a laser on board. It even mixes cocktails at five o'clock sharp. This new human weapon could be a threat to us. Scan more humans. Martin was under the water tower. I had to become an officer just to sport one of those cool hats. If I were a pigeon, I could see what those snazzy suits discuss with the general. And no one on the rooftop would be the wise. Sergeant Smith's getting reamed behind the wall again. Yes, he shouldn't have hula hoop with another man's wife. That dinner party. I have an office in the main building right next to Higgs's. If only Dottie hadn't burned Omquist's roast. I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. Major Ford always randomly selects the shady Southgate. Jeez, have a heart. Chain smoking and coffee will steady Higgs's nerves before the big showdown with Armquist in the main building. The head warlord will emerge from the main building soon. I've gathered you should get a close look from a high vantage point. Isn't ready yet. The X-13 was working just fine in the trials last week. There have been a few um, hiccups. Hiccups? Armquist is headed here right now to see this thing fly. Are you telling me it can't? We've had some setbacks. I'll give you a setback. I'm gonna bring your whole goddamn agency up on charges. This is gross incompetence. Save it. Why don't you show your guests the nuke instead? I didn't pay 40 million dollars to see another goddamn nuclear test. I paid to see the best goddamn fighter plane ever built. Ah, screw it. I'm going down to Sector 13 myself and find out what the hell's going on. General.
You no need to go to Sector 13. The test flight will go ahead as planned. What? A second ago, you said the X-13 wouldn't fly. I said it wasn't ready, but it will be. Your demonstration will go on as scheduled. Trust us. We're the government. Crypto? It's high time we met the base's head warmonger. Go and probe the mind of the human called General Higgs. Without these eggheads, we could never finish the X-13 prototype. Gotta keep away from all these hazards just a little while longer. Without these scientists, the prototype won't function. I've marked the locations on your radar. We must eliminate them discreetly. Do try to avoid attracting attention. Subtlety ain't exactly my forte, Pox. Why does Joe keep looking at me? He can't tell just by looking, can he? All of this, khaki that. What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? My pappy fought in the big one. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. My DI sure is a mean son of a gun. Will you get a load of this new brazier? I could torpedo a U-boat with these things. The brass always bust my chops, jackasses. This ain't like WW2. You're going Drop down, your little man. It's killer to You're going down! Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. Here, greeny, greeny, greeny. I want to be just like Sergeant York or Gomer Pyle. I knew I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. Murphy is a pussy. Now, John Wayne, that's a man's man. Man, that guy stepped right on those mines. Just glad it wasn't me. That's the fourth one this week. Damn, that drill sergeant booted me out of easy company. Now I pulled this lame duck assignment. An army of one. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Draw in the enemy, make some noise, and when they get close, destroy them all! It's like bad. Ah! 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 
we want. The path to the prototype should be right there, but avoid any men in very dark suits. Freeze! You think I'm going to Drop your weapon! Next on the agenda, stall the human war. A little sabotage should do the trick. First, find the new X-13 these tin soldiers are building. More sneaking? Come on, Pox. I said sabotage. Go! And destroy every human in that hangar. And destroy their equipment and their records. And keep the X-13 in one piece. Just make sure it won't fly anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. Make it good. We've had a breach. Small word for a big problem. Somebody got past the guards, snuck into Hangar 12 and wrecked the place. Our little gray visitor? Looks that way. Which means you didn't catch it. We came pretty close. Close doesn't count, Agent. The second it sets foot on base, I want it captured. And don't tell Armquist. We don't need any more help from the military. Call me when you've got it. Whatever you say. Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us. General Armquist, good of you to come. Thought you might be too busy running damage control out in California. Never too busy to watch the Air Force fall flat on its face, Jack. Corporal Patterson, let's show our guests what this bottle rocket can do. Vertical takeoff and landing! How do you like it? That's it? That's your ultimate weapon? Patterson! Get 
get over there and tell McGillicuddy to get that bird in the air right this second, or he's going to be testing go-karts for the next 20 years. Forty million dollars for that? Quist is inspecting that primitive aeronautical capsule. Which can't be all. We'll crush their pitiful air defense forces and destroy Armquist once and for all. Let me just load up the old disintegrator ray and I'll be off. No! Listen, Crypto. At this very moment, they are preparing a nuclear device for testing in a nearby weapons range. A nuclear device? Don't sweat it. That monkey's as good as dead. Damn, that drill sarge booting me out of easy company. Now I pulled this lame duck assignment. Hypnotize one of the humans and command him to drive the vehicle to the airfield.
I put explosive devices on the road ahead. You're caught your knees, Nothing will be destroyed if the nuclear device isn't activated, Crypto. Those humans want to disarm the bomb! Stop them! Killer time! B. 
You want to explain to me why our troops are abandoning Area 42? They're not leaving, they're regrouping. Everything's under control. Really? So the airfield hasn't been destroyed by one of our own nukes? It's that commie spy from Santa Modesta. He got in somehow, messed with one of our experiments. Don't worry, I'll catch him. That's what you said in Santa Modesta. Frankly, General. I'm beginning to question your resolve. Oh, I'm resolved, all right. That explosion was meant to take me out. You're saying this communist spy has a personal vendetta against you? Maybe you don't get the mindset we're up against. No, no, General. I'm taking you very seriously. The President should hear this. Get back to Capital City. I don't take orders from you. In this matter, I speak for the President. You know that. Oh, majestic. What would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Crypto, I need data on the structural integrity of the local architecture. I'm activating our latest F-800 drones to scan these hegemonic edifices. Let me guess. You need me to babysit the drones. Precisely. Hasta la vista, Crypto. Holy smokes! Ailey! 
Say your prayer, scum. Oh my God. Communists. Oh my God. It's killer. Martha, give me the shotgun. I gotta kill me a bird. Only one minute remaining. Keep calm. You're an ugly little. Here's a close encounter of the pink fire. In order to quantify the effectiveness of our arsenal, it is imperative that we first collect hard data on uh, how hard these buildings are. So I do get to blow them up, right? Let's not go off and pop the pills. new weapon for your saucer. The Quantum Deconstructor. It has a blast wave that destroys everything. Try it out on the commercial buildings of Santa Modesta.
grid, perhaps? No? How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? you pathetic humans Ah, uh, mind woozy vision blurred bladder bursting must get to a lavatory. Oh, my aching cranium. Crypto, you moron. First step is admit you've got a problem. Please, please, tell me, tell me I'm alone. Oh, thank you. Great frontal lobes. But where in space am I? Looks like some kind of primitive laboratory, a, a cage, and humans. I'm being held against my will, and none the fun way. Uh, oh, they touched me. I feel so dirty. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here now. Of course I'm alive. It takes a lot more than a massive head trauma to keep me down. Please, God, not cold meatloaf for lunch again. Oh, jeez, Louise. Every birthday I would pray for a ray gun. But I always got a potato. Not again, colorblind morons. Die, pea brain. Hey, where's the... What did you do with my clip, monkey boy? Phew. So much for wholesale carnage. I guess I'll just have to settle for ripping your limbs off one by one with my bare hands until I find it. With my bare hands.
my mind playing tricks. So the guys from Green Bay asks if I'm a Packer fan. I says, Ask What's the condition of your ship? No idea. The humans must have recovered your ship. Eat your heart out, Brando. I'm on the waterfront too, you schmuck. March here, march there. March it yourself, jerk off. A lot of grunts around lately. Couldn't be commies in Uniontown. Or could they? Good. This information will help lead us to your ship. Scan more workers. I detect the presence of a Furon jetpack nearby. You will need it in your search. Your ship went down on a nearby island. Excellent. Keep scanning workers. The hell's in all those army crates coming over from Monroe Island? Ain't nothing there but that old abandoned fort. Or is there? What would Brando do? Stella! Stella! Elvis Schmelvis, I could do that. Uh huh. <laughs> Whoa! Take me! Yeah, time to refill the pockets, last. Midget Kami! Spacemen! Out of the way! <laughs> Little green alien! Pissants! Space freak! I really ought to get up to Jersey and see Uncle Tony this weekend. I've got my union card. I can feel a hey. strike coming on. My mind says Cliff, but my body says Brando. Monty just ain't no rebel without a cause driving a streetcar named Desire on the waterfront. Help! Help! We're being invaded by Peter Lorre! Ah! Orson Welles was space freak! Get it off! <laughs> I'm getting out of here! Guess it was not Help! We're being invaded by Peter Lorre! Aliens! Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Oh damn, I better not forget that password or they'll never let me on that barge. The human military industrial complex is apparently using a marine barge for surface transportation to and from the island. You may be able to use it to get to the island. Man, I feel like cracking some heads. You know, let off some steam.
Lorraine don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. Who do you think is the superior thespian? Lana Turner or Veronica Lake? Better go back and get your orders straight, Private, if you don't want to wind up court-martialed. Have you seen Jane Russell in the hay? va -voom. Better go back and get your orders straight, Private, if you don't want to wind up court-martialed. Marilyn, will you take me to the island now? Now you're talking. Welcome aboard, soldier. Your ship must have crashed somewhere nearby. But be careful! Identify the yourself. island must be positively crawling with human warriors! I was just following standard insertion procedures. Ah! Insert tab A into slot B. What could go wrong? Watch it. The humans are moving your ship. You must find a way to release it. I want to shoot me some reds. You know, I still don't get that magic eye thing. I can't see the damn dolphin. Something's wrong with this ship. I can't take off! The humans have removed the power cells from the ship's engine core. I've detected the radiation signature of the energy cells coming from a human marine transport vessel near your location. I mustn't be late! They're waiting for me in the test chamber! Oh wait, wrong game.
I could take that guy, and that guy, and her. There's nothing. You talking to me? Alien! I'm getting out of here! Over space. Knock it off. <laughs> Drop the. <laughs> the energy cells required for liftoff. Return to your ship immediately! Or something a little more personal. How curious! I was tracking Armquist in hopes of discovering his secret base. But instead he came here, to a civilian facility known as the White House, to meet with his leader, the President. I knew it. Armquist couldn't lead an army of ants. Cut to the part where I crashed the party. I wanted to seek out this White House. Find out what sort of place it is, what defenses it has. And then destroy all the humans, gotcha. No, no! Stealth is our watchword. Just disguise yourself and make your way to the White House. If only Dick would pay as much attention to me as he does his collection of Broadway show tunes. To serve and protect, to serve and protect, to serve and protect, to swerve and defect, to curve and perfect. Damn it, I lost it. Okay, I'm at the White House. Looks kind of like a palace. Big, stodgy, neoclassical plantation style. Hmm. I'm detecting a herd of human scientists exiting the White House. Perhaps they've just had an audience with this president. I want you to scan their minds. Ooh, that's a challenge. 
The challenge will be impersonating one. Weave as many of their minds as you can. Crypto, you may have to make small talk. And conversation has never been your strong suit. I hate these meetings. I Kandinsky! German! Idiot Americans. A little art education is a dangerous thing. Blue Rider? <sighs> that Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Follow this human. He said something about Armquist. God, I need a drink. No, make that two drinks. Two very large drinks. installations up ahead. Now that you have his password, persuade the guards to admit you inside. One drink for breakfast, two for lunch. Crypto, don't start a firefight. The bridge ahead is heavily guarded. You'll have to sneak past. Earl, I'm telling you, we're in the wrong place. Look, shut up already, will you? The captain's marked it right here. This ain't like WW2. Theorem. Quantum physics is crap. Boar schmores. I poop on his theory. <laughs> My mind says Cliff, but my body says Brando. Monty just ain't no rebel without a cause driving a streetcar named Desire on the waterfront. You know, I still don't get that magic eye thing. I can't see the damn dolphin. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. The password is Marilyn. Marilyn? Now that's a new one. Move along, pal. Now if you'd have said Jane Russell in the hay, vavoom. The password is Blue Rider. Welcome to the Octagon, sir. The General's expecting you. March here, march there, march it yourself, jerk off. Try to get near Armquist and see what you can learn. The more I think about it, communism isn't just an economic system, it's a will. A will to feel proletarian. Why does Joe keep looking at me? He can't tell just by looking, can he?
which is why the president has asked me to make some changes. Changes? Don't worry, General. You'll still be in command of our military forces. That much I've decided. You decided? It's only logical. My organization has the skills, the specialists. But up to now, we've been a federal agency operating on a limited scale. This new threat, however, demands a radical new concept of national defense. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a project for a new American century. The time has come to unite our five defense branches under a single chain of command. Five branches? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Majestic, of course. You've got to be kidding me! It's the start of a whole new era, General. And the President would like you to deliver the good news. Are you out of your mind? You really think the Joint Chiefs will let Majestic swallow them whole without a fight? I think you'd better convince them to. And General, don't ever talk to me that way again. Yes, sir. So, huh? Majestic and the army getting it on. Hmm, I should have known. Those sly dogs. Bit cavalier about this, aren't you? Why the hell not? I don't think it makes any difference. I didn't clone you to think. And it may make a very big difference indeed. In any case, we have what we came for. Return to your saucer and report back to the mothership. Crypto, the humans must not be as utterly moronic as we thought. Your scout ship has been discovered. Yeah, right. Or the other one. Uh, it's true! Los hombres de negro! I'm moving to retake the saucer as we speak. Roy Cohn sends his rig... They got a plan of your own. Ah! Oh, hell! Mitchell! Oh, my Here's a bonus of the this is space! Hey! You're terminating! You're dead to the man! And the line! You're going dead! You're going dead! Uh. Crypto! The Warlord Armquist is heading to a meeting with the other human warmongers. His orders are to unite them against us! No biggie. I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. 
Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to do them too. Follow Armquist to that meeting. It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices they discreetly place to spy on Armquist. We're not You're alone. First. Bending intent to hinder Majestic. Crypto, your forethought surprises me. I won't stop you. Just don't let this stunt hold you up. My analysis shows that bending an antenna has the desired effect of interrupting transmission. One would think you'd done this before. where the warmongers are gathering for the tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. Aren't you jumping the gun here, Armquist? That fire might have just been set by rowdy teenagers. I did as much or worse back in my day. Kids will be kids. He's right, General. Kids today may lack discipline, but they're not communists. I think you're making too much of all this. Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42! You know what they say, Armquist. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not out to get you. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you kidding me? A nuclear attack on American soil? Those commies are a goddamn menace. Let's go get them. I don't 
don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth. Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! Crypto! Your cover has been blown! You are the it! You got it! Annihilate the humans! You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my br- Huh? Your way's not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide! Who's hiding? Let's get funky. Air Force? It should call it Air Flux. Defeat these pathetic imitators of few strength. And don't forget Armquist! Get ready, you feet eater! You're going down! Sympathizer!
Support needed! Over! Go on, you comet punk! Finish it. It didn't have to be this way, Armquist. Uh, what do... <coughs> what do you mean? I mean, this ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... you didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Pathetic human. So, what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? I've been monitoring the radio. This human with us says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... Uh... uh the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. God, I need a drink. No, make that two drinks. Two very large drinks. You're nothing without me. Remember that. Of a man in uniform. Oh, wait. Oh, I am a man in uniform. <laughs> Bring it on, bad guys. I'm going all Joe Friday. I have a dragnet out for evildoers. Why is he planning to circle the town first? That's crazy. My mind says Rock Hudson, but my body says Cary Grant. I wonder if there's a two-for-one deal going on movie stars. This feeling like someone's listening to my every thought. I just can't shake it. I'm more 
more than just a secretary? Scanning? Oh, look. Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe. Great. He's gonna circle the town first. Like I don't have enough to worry about. Bill of Rights? Who the hell needs a Bill of Rights? I'm Bill, and I'm right. The end is nigh! It's really, really nigh! I just don't get this rock and roll. Nothing but noise. What is it with teenagers these days? I wonder if Doris Day is really as innocent as she looks. Hmm. Passengers and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten the soil and green leather interior. Pricey option. Hmm. What if you cooked hamburgers really fast and gave them to people in cars through a window? Nah, that's a dumb idea. It'd never work. Oh my god, is my fly down? Don't look, don't look. Oh, their electronics are masking all human neuroelectrical signals. Well, so much for biorhythms. They still got the horoscope, though. Two martini lunch. God, I hope we land the Jenkins account. Can't wait to rub Andrew's nose in it. They all think I'm crazy. I know it. I, I mean, I am crazy, but that's hardly the point. I knew I should have joined the Texas Air National Guard. Now that'd be some easy duty. Look out! It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the women folk inside! Oh, I really must stop watching you in television. Screw it. Destroy them all! Don't make me... So drop the power! Monkeys, that was pretty smooth. Crypto! The Wither creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly, he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. And so you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits. Roger that, big kahuna. Excellent! You're learning. One more sweet cheeks comment, and I'm calling my lawyer. I wouldn't expect the humans to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. In a situation like this, other than take a lot of bennies. Crypto, the dudes in dark have found your saucer. I think they're planning to destroy it this time. 
I'm no expert in human explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power cells. That could vaporize the entire city! Anybody there? They've Martians. come from outer space! Hurry! They're going to destroy your source! Oh, have they no regard for another being's property? Now that their president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the capital! This isn't a democracy unless I say so! Watch out! I detect 
military units nearby. With my, uh, military unit, detect your drone. Oh, just take my word for it. Hurry, Crypto! They're using the side entrance north of your position. As well as some soldiers? The leaderless humans will have no choice but to surrender to us now! Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more personal? Humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. 
Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how! So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles? Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist entirely. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot! Otherwise, they'll disrupt your saucer! Electric defenses!
stand at the seat of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet. Our victory is complete. No more blowing stuff up. Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up too. Well, so much for plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is Plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez, dirty tricks mode! Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty.
for that white building! No, the other white building! You know, the one with the statue, the tall, ugly guy with the beard, he's like Amish or something. the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the- Attention, Furans. Attention, Furons! Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. 
Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful Robo-Prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. Nah, nah, I'm not hung up on the whole pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting.
You beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez, Louise. I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt.
like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself.